Getting into our favorite part, our Q&A. Thank you so much for dropping it in the community tab. I picked these at random, by the way. So number one, do you like chicken wings? If so, traditional or boneless and favorite flavor? Also glad to see the EKD shows back. I'm glad as well. Um, I always do traditional. I don't do boneless. I don't like boneless. If you are in the city of Philadelphia, go to Chicks. It's called Chicks. Go to Chicks. It's on Washington Ave. Get the garlic wings. That's all I got to say about that. The garlic wings are underrated. I don't even like hot, hot wings anymore. Um, but I'm just telling you that, 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 that you got to do it once in a lifetime. That, that's my favorite place, honestly, in the city of Philadelphia. All right. With the fourth wrapped up, what are your top three favorite holidays? Bonus question. You're all over thread scenes. What are you liking most about it so far? Top three holidays. Number one, 4th of July. 4th of July because I don't have to buy anybody anything. I don't have to go anywhere. I'm going to sit on a beach in a chair, not move and do some fun activities. Number two, Christmas. But Christmas is a little bit overwhelming because I start putting my Christmas decorations up right after Halloween. So I see it for so long. So it's like a two month process. I have to get home. I have to buy gifts for people. And yeah, it's just, it's just, it's, it's a little overwhelming. And then it gets to a point, I don't know what people want. And then you give them cash and they think you don't care, but really cash is the best present. We won't get into that. We'll talk about that around Christmas time. Lastly, I would say Halloween or Valentine's Day. I don't know <laughs> either one of those, but I will say my least favorite holiday, which is, this is a hot take, is Thanksgiving. The food's not great. It's always so inconvenient. I can never get home. There's, aside from watching the NFL games that are on Thanksgiving, it's just all around not a great time. Like nobody likes turkey and mashed potatoes. That's why we eat it once a year. It's just foul. All right, uh, moving on. What was your favorite childhood treat? A chip witch sandwich on the beach. And those things, guys, Every year I watch the price rise. I think we're up to like six fifty on the beach that I'm at, which is very expensive. They're hard as a rock. You almost break your teeth every time you eat it. But a chip, which is my favorite, it's when it's the cookies, for those that don't know, with the vanilla and the um, chocolate chips on the outside. I don't like, van I, at the time, when it was my favorite treat, I don't like the middle, like the vanilla. So I'd eat around the outside, then eat the cookie and the seagull would then eat the middle of the ice cream sandwich. But I will say the best chip, which that you can get now is at Trader Joe's. Go find it. It's the best thing. It's incredible. I try not to have it every night, but uh, five days out of the week, I'll have it. Uh, number four, ever been to Cape Cod? What about a favorite or dream European destination? I've not been to Cape Cod. I've seen pictures. Looks amazing. In terms of a European vacation, I'd love for someone to take me to the Amalfi Coast or Lake Como. That seems pretty cool. So if anybody wants to take me for free, let me know. Uh, favorite thing about Delco. So for those that don't know Delco, Delco st stands for Delaware County, might be an area that I know a little too well. Uh, my favorite thing is that the people are rough around the edges. They say it how it is, tell it how it is. Uh, my least favorite thing is the accent. I've done my best to get rid of the Delco accent through broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, do you put ketchup on hot dogs? Uh, no, I do not because I'm allergic to tomatoes, so I can't have ketchup anymore. So I don't do that, but I used to do that. I guess now I'd be a mustard girl, but they stopped the hot dog stands at the beach, which is really unfortunate in the beach town that I'm at because I haven't had a hot dog in a while and I haven't been to a baseball game. So I need to get around to that for sure. But, um, in terms of ketchup on hot dogs, no, that's, that's, that's not a thing. All right, guys. Well, that is episode 12 in the books. NFC East preview. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And next week we'll be back with another division. I don't even know which division we're going to do just yet. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you liked it. Uh, and make sure to drop some thoughts in the comments, how we could be better or what you liked, et cetera, whatever you guys want. But nonetheless, we're in the summer months, dog days of summer. Enjoy the time before NFL starts because it'll be here before you know it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.